Nothing beats a whole fish on the middle of the table. Mm. Everyone digs into it. And this is a fantastic snapper. Snapper is one of those iconic fishes that you'll find around the sea anywhere. Yes. You lovely. Like I do. I love these. I love this type of cooking and eating. Do you do any fishing? I do, I do actually. Good. Fishing's good. I could share some stories with you if you like. Especially with kids. Kids love fishing. Oh. You know, when they catch their first fish, they don't know what to do. Yes. And they pull up a little tiny minnow like this and you have to, uh, you oh, know... all the fanfare. Put it back in. Yeah. Now, I've got some vegetables here or some herbs, coriander, spring onions, lemongrass and some lime leaves. And I've cut them really chunky. I'm going to pop them into the middle mm. of the snapper nice. like this. This will give it flavour mm. as it cooks, but also holds the belly up, which is really, really important. So as much of this as you can fit in there, mm. to me, that's what makes it really, really nice and nice. flavoursome. I often put lemon. Lemon's great yeah. as well. We could have put some, yeah, we could have put some lime in there, but I'm going for those real sort of Asian flavours, so Beautiful. that will be fantastic. Now, I've got the fish there like that, and I'm going to score the outside of it. I've got a sharp knife here, nice. and I just go around the outside, and that makes it look really nice. Put it on its side here like this, yes. and score it through the outside. I Isn't would... that so flavour gets in? Flavour gets yeah, in. That's what I the thought. salt gets in, but yeah. it also looks good as well. And I'll flip it over like this. So mm. what we do to one side, we do to the other. Bits of herbs all over the place, but that's what we're looking at. All the way through here like this, and then back the other way. I'm Beautiful. doing little diamonds here. Oh, you can do diamonds. Squares Sorry. or <laughs> okay. whatever you want to do. Now I'm gonna grab some salt and yes. I'll sprinkle some salt. You got some pepper over there. Yes, I if, do. If you can put uh, just just load it up with pepper, plenty of pepper on the outside. I'd sometimes season the inside, but I'm gonna make sure that this is really well seasoned on the outside because mm. the, the fillets are only like three or four centimetres thick so the flavour of the herbs on the inside yes. and then the seasoning yes. on the outside, look at that, on we go. Now you're probably thinking, Richo, you need a big barbecue to cook this. Well, I've got something a little bit better. I'm going to cook this inside and I'm going to start it off on the grill. I've got my plancha here, which is a big sort of grill plate. I know it's nice and hot because the thermo signal's in the middle there. And this is going to be oh. able to hold an entire fish. Beautiful. A good amount of oil on there. And I mean, I want to cover the bottom. I want to get some searing. Sizzle. Some searing action. Yes. And here's a little trick to putting it on. Bring the plate over and then just slide it. Nice. Onto the pan. You like that? Oh, beautiful big pan. Love it. Non stick, so it's going to work beautifully, and all the flavour is going to be in the fish where it belongs. Now, we're just going to let this sizzle away on the outside here. I want it to sear. There we go. A little bit more on the outside there. I want it to sear on the outside before I put it in the oven. Yep. And that way it has lovely flavour. Now, while that's happening, we're going to get the sauce going, which is something I really, really like. I've got some cashew nuts Ooh. here. You like these? Yeah, I do. Very nice. Thank you. Well, I'll just subtract one of those <laughs> from the recipe. In it goes. They are really nice. Cashew nuts are delicious. Mm. Into the pan, that's going to go. And I'll add some butter to that because I'm okay. going to toast the cashew nuts while I'm actually cooking the uh, the nice. outside of the snapper. Okay. And I just love the sizzle of the snapper that's going on in the background. We could be at a fish and chip shop, couldn't we? We could be. Could be nice Very fancy delicious. one. You could use, I guess, olive oil here or do a dry toast. Exactly, you could. Yep. But the flavour you get from using butter when the whole thing comes together is delicious. Now, this is a lemongrass heart. Mm. And what I've done is taken all the outer fibrous parts mm. off. If you can slice that nice and oh, thin yes. for me, I that'll can. get this going. And I'm just going to turn this around like this. You can see the butter's starting to sizzle. I'm looking for that lovely flavour of the butter and the cashews to come together nice. with everything else. And once you've got that, all I need to do is grab some of these things here, which is a lime leaf, in that goes as well. Nice. Now, the lemongrass yes, you've sliced Yes, here we go. I'm trying not to cut my fingers. There the, you go. Exactly. Now, if you were using the larger piece of lemongrass, you would turn the knife upside down and give it a bash, and yes. that'll help to break out all the flavours. That's going in there as well. Nice. And this is toasting up beautifully. You can see the bubbles are starting to happen there. Yeah. Burnt butter or like yeah. brown butter in there is going to come together nice. beautifully. Some garlic, some ginger, and I call these ginger coins. Yes. They're about the thickness of a coin. And some red onion that's been sliced beautifully. Nice. Into the pan it goes. Now, this is coming along very, very nicely. Now, I reckon at this stage here, I'm going to turn over the fish. Now, this can be done a few different ways. You can use a little spatula if you want, but I'm going to use oh, my... Oh, special fork. ..my trusty grandmother's fork. Now, wow. instead of turning it over this way with the belly, I turn it over with the backbone down. Okay. And that way you'll get a nice flop over and it won't tear all over the place. So it round it goes like that. Beautiful. Look at that. We've got nice score markings, a bit of gold on the outside. Yes. Some of the stuff that's come Doesn't out matter. of it. 
It's going to add flavour to it. That's yes. what we're looking for. Now, you can see the sauce is coming together. Everything's mm. sort of melting together. And we'll start adding the rest of our ingredients. Yes. I've got some coconut sugar. In that goes. About a quarter of a cup of that. Some vinegar, because we need a little bit of tartness yes. to sort of break nice. through the butter and the fat and everything. And some fish sauce. Just a little bit of this, because it is quite strong. Mm. About a tablespoon in there. Yes. And some soya sauce. Now, I want a fair bit of this, so I'll take the top off. Oh, OK. Which is what I love about these. No little hole for you. When you want to whack it in there, you can whack it in there okay. big time. That's about a quarter of a cup in there. OK. Now, stir that around like that and let that simmer away and become more intense in flavour. Mm. While that's becoming more intense in flavour, this fish is going to go into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. It's going to stay in there for about 10 to 15 minutes till it's cooked all the way through and then I'll show you how we finish this off for you. Delicious. It looks beautiful. Smells so good. It does. Mm. And the beauty of this is you serve the whole thing together. Some spring onions over the top of it, some snow peas, a little bit of coriander on there as well. Snow pea tendrils, most Lovely. of those ones. Almost, OK. We, we don't want too much green, okay. do we? There we go. People might die if we eat all the green. A little bit over the top there. And this is the bit. I pour the hot sauce okay. over the top of it. And this is a sweet, sticky sauce. And I know you love the cashews in here, all cooked together like this. A few more spring okay. over the top there. A bit more coriander. You, just imagine me popping this on the on the table in Stunning. front of everyone. Stunning. Oh, some I love this. Crispy fried onions over there as well. Oh. You like that? I love it. So many beautiful smells coming out of here. I'm loving the fresh greenery on top. What a what a centrepiece for the table. Exactly. Some oh. lime goes on there. Holy and I'll mold. throw this on the side here. Oh, nice. You know what? That is a feast fit for a king and a queen. What do you reckon? Agreed. Or maybe a prince and an earl or whatever it is. Oh. But it's delicious anyway. I'll be the queen. Onto the table we go.